What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Games Going Live. This is the show where we bring on professional, and they walk us through their techniques and projects. And so, uh, joining us again, uh, we have Ilya Prosserov. So I'm going to switch him on real quick, and we should be able to hear him. How are you doing, Prosserov? Hello, hello, Brent. Right. Oh, uh, I think so. <laughs> Oh, so, uh, so let's continue our talk and uh, continue to work on the second part with, with textures and the posing. So, Weirdly Brandon, enough, I believe it's on my side, but let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this is going to be the second part we had you on last time to kind of cover the process of your character, uh, the demon. And uh, anybody who is watching this now, uh, I totally recommend to watch the first part of this interview, uh, where this one will be focusing on the texturing and presentation, which I feel is pretty important that we, uh, we uh, continue this part of the process, because if anything, this is the process or part of the process that actually gets uh, reviewed by potential uh, employers or anybody that is looking to really put their work up uh, and, and get examined. So whenever you are ready, Ilya, go ahead and uh, just share your screen. Yeah, okay, let's go then. Oh. So. so you see me now, yeah? So, Brandon, do you see me? Brandon? Hello? So, Brandon? <laughs> Come on, say something. Yeah, sorry. My mic, uh, I mean, my headphone was oh. doing something weird. But uh, go ahead. Oh, I okay, okay. I saw the uh, problem. So, uh, let's start from texturing. And um, I will show you how I usually work. But uh, uh, usually I start from assigning materials for each folder. For example, uh, uh, you make folder just for best uh, organization of work. You call him body. Then add black mask. Add uh, color selection if you have an ID map. So then, uh, then you just go to the proper, uh, to the settings. Set hardness to zero and uh, pick color you need uh, then add fill layer place it into folder and uh, you know, that's how it works usually you know, turn off haze missive normal so uh, you should do this with the, every piece of materials you have on the chart and uh, i won't waste time and <laughs> i will show you the ready one um, so let's check from um, for example body has very much uh, layers but they it's not uh, hard it's quite uh, i prefer uh, more uh, automatical uh, work uh, with uh, a little piece of hand paint, almost zero hand paint, <laughs> it's just I'm too lazy. And um, for example, let's turn it off. <laughs> Usually you work begin from uh, base layer and uh, 
you should make a stub for roughness and metallic. Uh, so I usually use metallic only for real metal elements. It, it can be used in uh, some situations just for uh, if you want to get some specific uh, render <laughs> properties, but uh, usually it's just for metal and nothing else. So set up roughness, uh, you, you you can get a, any value you want, but uh, mm, after some uh, chargers, I noticed that uh, uh, amount of roughness is uh, depends on uh, uh, depends on the engine or light settings uh, your chair will be so uh, let's use uh, a bit uh, higher value of uh, roughness to not uh, get him shiny yeah. so you, know, you can test that uh, in any time so don't worry about that uh, so second layer uh, we're gonna set is oh I can't remember what is the layer so also remember to do this to check your uh, mask separately with alt click <laughs> on it so what is it it's it's just uh, some I, I usually my work is uh, like you uh, place fill layer just stop roughness again you no need a metallic for example you want to get a, a shiny parts of your body then you just need to add black mask go to smart masks and uh, choose you need i think will be hb will be okay so now you have uh, the mask and uh, on the white areas you would have uh, that shiny material so let's make it I don't don't like to spend much time better you just can add levels here and uh, it's much more easy. This is a very interesting approach to hand painting. Um, and I think it's actually a, a smarter way to predict because obviously once you have this in place, you can start applying to other characters within like this um, this project if it's like, yes, part yes. of the game or something. Is this something that you uh, went on to discover yourself after spending some time hand painting? and? Uh, how did you come about this technique? Was this kind of recommended by other hand painters, or uh, how about it? Did you uh, find out? Uh, oh, uh, I don't know. My, uh, I, I <laughs> don't know how to say. Ah, uh, but to say that I can't hand paint myself. I just I wanted to do hand paint, but uh, I have seen that uh, most of the games with hand painted stuff is uh, uh, isn't using sculpt or zbrush uh, on, on that level which I wanted to do I wanted to make sculpts and uh, to, to make characters uh, as well too but uh, mm, but no one use uh, hand painted stuff nowadays so most of the works are PBR and uh, they have hand painted also, but uh, I think it's um, it's much more easier to to do not waste so much time on hand painting because uh, with uh, modern technologies like Substance Painter, you can uh, get uh, the same results uh, much more faster, I think, than drawing by hand. And also, it's uh, very um, useful but then you can uh, change it in any time so for example you if you hand paint it uh, uh, it like that for example i use brush and make something i, I can't uh, change that uh, uh, after some 
of some moment. So if I come back here, I can't uh, uh, move this mask. I, I have to clear it and paint in another place. It's, it's not comfortable. So I prefer this because you can uh, you can return to the stage and uh, in any time get uh, some changes. So very useful. And you know, for example, uh, uh, I won't set up it here, but um, also it's uh, only for for your eyes. <laughs> so just look on it and uh, see the changes. It's not. No one knows. Uh, uh, real um, uh, real values which you need to use just uh, just look on the change so for example it was a test layer that layer that I have so also remember to uh, to, 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 to where is my folder oh <laughs> sorry Yes, here it is. Place it here. Mm -hmm. Now remember to set up color and uh, roughness and uh, other information. Oh, let's, let's make it here. So, uh, what I usually prefer, I prefer to start from base layer then I usually do uh, ambient occlusion. No, it's not ambient occlusion. It's, it's uh, ambient occlusion is here. Yeah. Uh, I, I really like to change a bit maps. You can. I usually prefer to add fill layer, then place uh, ambient occlusion map here. Then you can change it with okay let's turn off blur you can use uh, levels here uh, it's a levels to uh, in for inverse and uh, and you even can add another map here for some uh, for any information you want it I like to use so for example you can use here uh, grunge texture just to not uh, uh, just to get ambient occlusion with the uh, variation so also remember to use different channels like normal multiply uh, just do it like soft light maybe and uh, you can change mount in any time so after I edit uh, ambient occlusion, I usually add cavities. It's cavities is mm, like ambient, but more strong. So uh, I usually use maps from Marmoset. So I edit, edit my mask, uh, edit fill layers. You can set up it here and get uh, cavities. So uh, next layers I use uh, just for some color variations. I haven't spent uh, a lot of time on him, so <laughs> he, he don't have many color information. But uh, but I think it's it's not bad for him because he's just uh, pretty simple. Uh, and. Uh, what I like to do, I have, uh, uh, I like to make folders inside another folder. For example, you make a folder for uh, these parts on his body, and uh, simply I, um, <laughs> I just uh, paint a mask and then um, use it with color selection because. Uh, Oh, for just uh... ah, I have it. Uh, I have this um, 
red parts as separated material and uh, I, as uh, I wanted uh, what I wanted to do here is uh, for example I wanted to have some information on uh, this oh, let's turn for example H4K I hope it won't be lagging <laughs> so let's wait a bit so what I wanted to get here is um, I wanted to get uh, some uh, information on the borders. Uh, I, I didn't want to hand paint in them, so I just uh, made it in made, made some tricks. <laughs> uh, first of all, I paint uh, mask where uh, where are located these uh, red parts. So just uh, then, I simply all the few layers you will add here will work only on this uh, uh, on this mask oh better I shouldn't do it <laughs> okay okay uh, so it's very useful because uh, you can add uh, now you add uh, another color and uh, simply add black mask and uh, uh, add uh, another smart mask from here. For example, I used uh, mm, it's bad that substance. I don't show you the mask I used, but uh, you can simply use your um, on your own way. For example, let's check this. And uh, uh, remember that uh, you will. Uh, get effects only on the borders because uh, you won't uh, try to find that mask that won't uh, touch the body uh, and uh, most of all he, he should uh, touch the borders so uh, so now you have that effect on borders so it's just save time. Uh, you can uh, do it much more, mm, much more better with more accuracy. But uh, uh, these places uh, are also visible with 4K resolution in games. It's uh, it's usually 2K, and you won't see these details anyway. But uh, you should definitely have something here to. Uh, to to make uh, feeling of death, for example, it's just it, this look is pretty simple. Just you can't um, you, you you see that uh, something is wrong. You, you should add something here. So add mask, add something here. So it's not uh, noticeable anymore. And uh, what usually I do here? Okay, let's. No, sorry, I can't. <laughs> I can't make my screen more. Mm -hmm. So let's turn it off. So, when you have something to say? <laughs> yeah, like um, at this point when you're texturing and you're um, pretty much uh, uh, satisfied with your norm map and high poly bakes, right? Uh, how often do you find yourself needing to add a little bit more depth uh, where you're painting and adding more norm up detail at the same time? Do you find that being an issue um, that that comes up a lot where no. you're like, oh, I forgot this. I would like to add a delete, a, a more and more more big features <laughs> while I'm painting. Oh, that'd be nice. You know, once you add in color, you're like, oh, you know, this might need to be popping out a little more. Oh, I like try to think about it. Yeah, yeah, friend. Uh, I think uh, I usually uh, try to think about it on the early stages on scouts. For example, if you if you're doing scouts, you may uh, make borders around these areas just to 
Uh, just because you know that uh, there is a good uh, smart mask that will work good with uh, such uh, shapes. So uh, you know that you will get some ambient occlusion information here and you can also get uh, uh, some paint information with mask uh, like this. And uh, that's good to avoid hand painting because uh, if you, if I had no borders around it, I should uh, uh, definitely paint something around by hand. But it comes from experience, and I don't know how. Just you, you just need to have a depth of uh, because usually uh, many artists have. Uh, nice sculpts but uh, uh, they forgot to add some depth to their textures for example they uh, they made uh, they refused from ambient occlusion and uh, cavities and uh, it uh, begins to look pretty simple you lose feeling of death here and uh, it be became to look uh, flatty so you should definitely add some information in the uh, highlands or valleys. Uh, if you have uh, valleys, uh, like big areas where, where there is a little normal information, you should definitely add color information here because uh, I think that um, the, there are areas with uh, uh, a lot of uh, normal information. For example, uh, areas like this, you have a lot of scratches, and uh, here. So you, if you will add more color information here, it will look very, very. It will get a very realistic look, and uh, you will lose uh, stylized looking. But uh, if you don't. Uh, if you don't and add colors for such big areas your materials will get pretty simple and uh, it will look more cartoony. So, for example, you just have to check that. Uh, just uh, keep balance between uh, normal information and uh, color information. For example, this area uh, has uh, a big uh, amount of shapes. Uh, and uh, also normal information. So if you add more colors here, it will attract even more attention. But uh, it's not uh, the area you should attract people. Uh, so uh, I think that uh, there is uh, something like... Uh, uh, there is a center of gravity for, for the weight and uh, something like there is a center of uh, attention for the character and uh, uh, it also depends on sculpt and uh, textures. For example, on sculpt, you know that um, it has uh, uh, much information around hands, around weapon, uh, down and uh, on the head. But uh, your character should be readable for example, if you will add more information down on his legs, uh, you will attract more attention here. But uh, you don't need to. Uh, you don't need people to look down. Just they should look something uh, uh, here. And uh, for example, uh, you see that uh, his body don't has uh, much more normal information, and uh, it's not. Uh, it's not very interesting and just uh, just to feel the space between these two big areas and uh, uh, you should not attract attention to the body so you should try to to keep uh, textures not so visible and uh, to just uh, you should just imagine how you look on the character and uh, try to uh, feel where your eyes uh, are going. So, for example, if you're looking on this character first time, 
your attention is not something right here you you don't like to, don't want to look on his body because it's not uh, very interesting you you may look on something right here you may look on his hand so mm, maybe down but uh to uh to make that you should not add much details on the body if you will add uh, them uh, the eyes of uh, people will definitely look something right here but um, if there if there will be no uh, interesting information here it will be boring so you should not attract attention to for areas where uh, which are not interesting for example uh, you see that as this cloak uh, isn't very interesting I just uh, added some Faults, but uh, I didn't want uh, to attract attention for, for it, so I made the colors more simple here. But if you want to attract uh, some attention for important areas like this, you can add more color information or more, sh uh, uh, more shiny uh, edges, for example and uh, it's it holds your attention when you're looking on it so it's, it's just my <laughs> theory about how it works mm -hmm. uh, i want to kind of go towards um presentation so uh i'm I think the last time we spoke yeah, you yeah. use marmoset primarily to present your work do you do any posing with your characters it looked like at least in the final image you do how do you set that up usually to i mean i i don't think you fully rig the character right so how do you um, go <laughs> no, through that process no, okay. okay brandon i see you uh yeah let's uh let's just uh i will we will show one minute how i work with metals for example metals are pretty simple oh <laughs> i have a lot of color information here but also it's like uh Oh, so let's check what is, yeah, it's metal. Uh, also, it's the same for all materials you have. You just make base layer. So, off. Ah, it's metal copy here. Ah, okay. I wanted to show you, but, <laughs> but made something wrong. Ah. Ah, okay. It's it's just layers for for shadows. Yeah, just one minute, Brendan. Uh, so, for example, you are starting from uh, uh, from 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 base layer again. Then just uh, add uh, the occlusion. I think it's something here. No, it's cavity. And then you just uh, get edges, more shiny look, add dirty, add another dirty layer, and another, <laughs> just uh, add, add dirty with color information. And it works pretty simple. Uh, uh, you just uh, make uh, like layers on materials. So use uh, edges, use masks, and uh, it's it's the same for for all materials you wanted to create. So use maps, use uh, use smart masks, and uh, nothing else. <laughs> so let's uh, go to the will close it because it it's too much memory. Uh, let's go to to posing. Yeah, I <laughs> I wanted to say that I use fully rig here but uh, i use uh, rig for all characters but it's uh, it's after rig uh i can't rig myself I, I try to learn how to do it but it's very hard <laughs> i don't know how to explain it i honestly try to to learn it but i thought that it will take about a, a year or something like that to to learn how to rig myself but uh, if you are a character artist, you 
don't have to really to learn rig nowadays because there are a lot of plugins a lot of uh, things to make that after so okay come on don't lag Uh, so first of all, you uh, just open your um, my file with a low poly mesh of each editor, and uh, I just made it on the texture, on the wired look. Uh, then what I'm doing? I'm uh, I use uh, this uh, free plugin. It's called Advanced Skeleton. Uh, so it's really easy. It's uh, like you see that uh, here is a setup, uh, setup to skeleton. So all you need here is to, and you can uh, watch uh, full videos about how to work. I will just show you some main steps. So you should uh, choose your version. For example, by uh, uh, skeleton, and you will. Uh, I, oh, okay. Let's. You see that now it's uh, okay. You, you, when I started, I don't have it. I just use import. Uh, okay, replace. And uh, you will get this auto skeleton. So you just need to some time to to set up uh, bones. For example you place all the bones for right areas so just use wire frames to place them correctly uh, so if you get the result i will open another file mm. so uh skinning So, no, okay, let's open a rig version. So, when you get uh, ready the skeleton, you just have to click one button. <laughs> you just uh, click on uh, where is it? Oh, just built it one skeleton button. Oh, where are we are. Mm. Let's find it. Oh, yeah, fine. Uh, build advanced skeleton button. It's called a rebuild because I have it. Uh, so you just click on button and uh, you will get controls and uh, symmetry for your, for your character. And uh, all you need now is to, is to place... Uh, you can scale in them here and... Uh, for just for comfortable work you you should place them correctly uh, where you wanted them to be for example i want it to be here uh, the same with all controls so when you will set up controls you may uh, don't close this window because you need this button select informations uh, yes, let's go to the next stage skinning so it don't take uh, it won't take you much time it, uh, for me it takes about uh, 10 minutes to, to make skeleton and uh, five minutes to make controls on the right positions and uh, most of the time takes uh, skinning but it's not uh, it's not big work uh, because you don't have usually to pose uh, uh, to get the perfect uh, skinning and uh, to get poses uh, to get different poses for example you choose uh, one pose and uh, just uh, spend time on, on skinning on it so what are you doing now now you select uh, oh why, why i can select this i can uh, you select uh, your mesh uh, then you click on the select uh, deformed joints because uh, it uses um, not all joints you have to use this button then just uh, I just click to 
and just oh f -f 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 -f. I forgot <laughs> hot case in my uh, then you just click skin bin skin just click apply set up here just click apply and uh, you will get after skinning but it's not uh, okay it's not um, good enough so you have to make uh, just don't know why it's black now no. okay select No, oh, I reversed normals, but uh, I don't know how to do this. Yeah, when you have a uh, rig, let's, uh, let's open it uh, again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is the lighting thing on? Maybe number five or six or something. No, I think uh, I think I quickly clicked on uh, reverse normals when I, oh, I see. I see. find the whole fighting. Uh, so what you're doing here now? You use uh, use 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 where where is the button? No mesh motion not modeling. I have it. Where is it? Ah yeah. Uh, no, you just uh, paint weight. Uh, use paint weight option. You need to choose any uh, any arm and uh, select the. Uh, select the areas where it influences it. For example, body. And uh, you want to get this. And you just paint and simply smooth. Uh, smooth and paint here just to forget. Uh, to get the uh, right uh, deformations and a nice texture look. I don't uh, waste much time to get perfect. Uh, uh, skinning just you skin it for pose i usually make something like that i'm finding pose uh, first of all i don't care for example about uh, something wrong uh, in uh, places like this you will uh, you will be able to repair it on the skinning stage so i just uh, finding a pose for, for him and you, you see that it's pretty simple with rig. You don't have to do this in ZBrush. And you have full control of it. So after you made a pose, you just uh, delete uh, your skeleton and uh, export low poly mesh with this pose. And open your uh, marmo set. I usually have uh, separated files for each pose because I use different light settings. And uh, so here we are. We just you import uh, pose mesh here and uh, make materials and uh, just make a, make a, don't know <laughs> find the uh, camera where it look nice. Also, don't forget to use different field of view information. You can get another look. Uh, so, what I'm doing here usually, I just uh, in this project, I wanted to I, I use many lights, but it's not important. You can uh, achieve the result with five or six lights. It's not. Uh, uh, it's not important, but if you if you don't want to get uh, excellent sand without uh, 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 repeating lights, you, you can spend more time. But I usually uh, I have some uh, sense with uh, good light settings, but here I just <laughs> used a lot of lights. But it's not important. Uh, so I usually make a preset, like you choose something from this. Uh, usually set up brightness almost to zero, uh, just for starting work. Because uh, when you will 
turn off your lights, you can see each light separately clear and uh, just to check some uh, just add lights here and um, i remember that lights should uh, have a center of attention too so for example we should add some light here near his face uh, because without it it will be in a bit shadows no i haven't used a lot of light here uh, but uh, you can use light to have reflection maybe on his um, maybe on his hand uh, and add some lights here for beautiful reflections and uh, i usually like to add uh, light from this side uh, just to have a reflection border on uh, this field of view for example if you will add uh, light here you see now it has border with, uh, in the more you can change the colors and get some uh, nice effects like you could add uh, some green lights reflection on the border uh, so it's just on your way uh, just do what you like <laughs> and uh, find uh, lights and when you get it you just i simply i, I don't want to spend the uh, time to get a second pose because it uh, takes uh, too much time and uh, i just uh, I, I more prefer to uh, to search uh, and uh, the second field of uh, the second camera where you can uh, have a render image for example uh, this uh, this camera is quite useful but also remember to set up materials with a uh, back face because you will get it uh, transparent uh, so it's something like that you you finding another pose uh, use another light settings here make render use uh, <laughs> use camera to find the third pose i usually prefer to make some pictures don't i don't like to have a lot of pictures for character but if you it i think it should be for example three three is enough i think it's it's okay just because in any pose you uh you won't get uh, many field of view with beautiful renders so it's usually like three it's it's enough <laughs> for pose so it's something like that it just uh, goes into uh, camera settings you can watch some information you could get strange just to see images more clear uh, you can add uh, some regions uh, widget information just to focus attention uh, then you can I usually do something with uh, tone mapping uh, you can use anything for example you can use high contrast mapping and uh, you will get some nice effects so don't be afraid to check all the settings you have it, it's it's pretty pretty easy it's uh, i was afraid too when i started to learn it uh, i was free to many buttons but um, usually it's like you have to uh, change settings uh, in some areas only and uh, don't use uh, anything at all and use your render setup for uh, global illumination for, for for brightness here you you can see that it uses it uses uh, common brightness for your project and uh, use occlusion to have occlusion under his legs and you, you can use size also 
So something like this, <laughs> like I use my project. So Brendan? Yeah, this is great. Well, uh, thank you so much, man. We are at the uh, close to that mark. Um, I would ask for you to, uh, let's return back to your face, but uh, this is also the perfect opportunity. <laughs> Perfect opportunity <laughs> to uh, to let you give the mic to again give a place for our listeners and viewers out there uh, where they can find you uh, Instagram, Twitter, any of those accounts. I think any of that would be great. Oh, I don't uh, like social <laughs> really. I prefer to stay just art station alone, then. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I just have a session and nothing else. Maybe it's just what's up. <laughs> Don't yeah. Know. Uh, well, use as usual. People can find your art station in the links and information. Uh, thank you again for Ilya for coming back for the second time and letting us see thoroughly your yeah. process. It was uh, fantastic, man. I always been uh, a huge fan ever since I've seen your work and. Uh, you definitely stand apart from a lot of other artists. But uh, thank you so much for giving us the time and giving us the knowledge. And that concludes uh, today's thank you episode. Thank you very much, Brendan. Of course, man. Of course. Anytime. Anytime <laughs> you have new artwork, we welcome it. Uh, love for you to come back. and then Because it seems like every single piece you, you are experimenting and learning something new. So we want to be a, a, a glimpse of that journey of yours. Yeah, like uh, to learn something new, like to you, you should do it too. I, I want to say it for people who are watching this. Uh, just don't be afraid to to use something different, to make uh, something on your own way. Just uh, try, try, try many as many as you can, because uh, no one knows uh, the real. Uh, uh, the perfect and uh, real things you can uh, w with which you can get perfect results uh, all men uh, are trying to find the solution by themselves so maybe you will find something on your own uh, so continue to work work much and uh, learn <laughs> That's all. all the secrets fantastic well thank you again uh... And uh, we look forward to your continuous growth, man. Have a good yeah, one. Yeah, looking forward to see you too. Okay, bye, brother. Bye, bye.